What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports here on the Oklahoma channel at the Voice of College Football. In this video, I'm going to give you my five top players returning from 2021 for Oklahoma. Uh, this is not necessarily predicting who the top play top five players will be in 2022. This is based off of 21. So the guys that I think uh, were the best last season that are returning for this team. Of course, uh, transfers coming in, freshmen coming in. Uh, a lot of new faces, but we're kind of focusing on the guys from last season here in this video. And this was a tough one to do. This was a very tough one. I had seven or eight guys that I considered, and then just ranking them one through five also was pretty tough to do. But this was my best shot at it. So we'll start with number five. That is Key Lawrence, a defensive back for them. Had 47 tackles last season, three and a half tackles for loss. Had a sack in there as well. Uh, knocked down four passes, had three forced fumbles, which is a really high number for a deep defensive back. I uh, was was pretty surprised when I saw that number. He did force three fumbles last season, uh, tied with Isaiah Thomas for the most. He was sixth in the team in total tackles. This is a guy they have coming back, a veteran, of course, played at Tennessee and uh, has played a lot of football. So I've got him at number five, and I, I do believe he will be potentially an all big 12 all conference type player in 2022 uh woody washington was a guy that i really considered for this list but he only played six games last season so the the stats the production wasn't really there as much for him uh, i think he has a chance to be really good for them next year but again this list was based off of what they did last season number four how about eric gray at running back you know he came in from tennessee and we thought that it was going to be kind of a a shared backfield with Eric Gray and Kennedy Brooks. Kennedy Brooks really took off and had a great year. Uh, so Eric Gray didn't get quite as many opportunities to carry the football as I think a lot of people expected him to get in the preseason, but he did still do a lot with what he had. He had got 412 yards on the ground. Also is a big time receiver for them out of the backfield. 229 yards receiving, had four total touchdowns. I didn't get a ton of carries in the red zone either, but I think he's going to probably be their featured back this season. They've got some other young players in there as well, but I do believe Eric Gray will be big for them. Uh, he was their second best uh, running back last season. And so I, again, expect him to, to really be solid for them this upcoming season and be that number one running back. Number three, how about Marvin Mims at wide receiver? Last season, 32 catches, 705 yards. But what really stands out is the 22 yards per reception. A lot of big plays from him, had five touchdowns as well. Um, I thought coming into last year, he would be their leading receiver. It didn't quite work out that way, but uh, he was was up there. He was one of their top receivers and had a big time season, big time year for them. You know, Hazelwood, Hazelwood's gone, Mario Williams gone, Mike Wood's gone. You lose three big time receivers, but Marvin Mims is back and his 30, 32 catches uh, I think will be probably double this upcoming season, depending on how much they throw the football. And so I do believe that he is going to be a big time weapon for them. And again, going back to last year, had a very strong season. And I think he's their third best player coming back based off of what he did last season. Number two, how about Justin Broles in the secondary? Another guy from that unit, 53 tackles last season, four tackles for loss, two interceptions, two fumble recoveries, uh, was very productive for them. Uh, he was the fifth leading tackler on this team, actually tied for fourth with Turner Yell. But yes, 53 tackles for him. Uh, a veteran guy, one of the older players on this defense. I expect him to, to be a leader for this defense and uh, probably make some big plays for them uh, once again this season. Two interceptions again and two fumble recoveries as well for him. Now, number one, who is it? It's the only guy coming back that is outside of a special teams player, which I'll talk about in a second, but the only guy they have coming back that was an all-conference player last season, that's Chris Murray on the offensive line. He started all 13 games for them. He was second team, all Big 10. Uh, this is, or all Big 12, I should say. He also started two years at UCLA uh, back in 18 and 19 before the transfer to Oklahoma. So this is a guy with a lot of football under his belt, uh, the, the leader for them, the anchor there on that offensive line, and he is coming back and that is very good news for Oklahoma. So these are the top five players. I mentioned a second ago, uh, Woody Washington. Also Jalen Redmond on the defensive line. I think he's gonna have a big year this year. He's coming back. Um, he was one of their top guys last year. 
And a guy that probably should be on this list is Michael Turk, but he's a punter. I didn't really want to put a punter on the list, but he was an all-conference player. Really, really good uh, punter, one of the best in the country. He's coming back as well, so I definitely did want to at least mention him, but I didn't really feel like putting a punter on my top five list. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is a pretty good list? Do you disagree with some of it? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below.